Welcome to another Learn to Read Thai video tutorial and today's subject is time. Time is something that we all take for granted and we all think it's simple and straightforward and it's not until we try teaching a child or a foreigner that we realise how complicated it can be. This is because there are many different ways to say the same time and there are differences from region to region. 7.45 is the same as quarter to eight but when I started going to the States a lot in the late 80s and 90s for work, I was a bit confused at first because Americans would say quarter of eight. And I found out that quarter of eight is the same as quarter to eight. In Germany, when a German says half seven, that actually mean half an hour before seven. Whereas in English, half seven will, will be half an hour past seven. It's these little differences that can be very confusing. English speakers use the 24 hour clock or the 12 hour clock divided into AM and PM. Tyres also use the 24 hour clock, but for everyday use, they tend to use the six hour clock. However, it's not quite as straightforward as breaking down one day into four six hour periods. And there's quite a lot of inconsistency with the way that different people tell the time. The best way to explain is by example. So what I'll do, I'll start at midnight and then explain how to tell the time for the next 24 hours. The first thing you might want to do is ask what the time is now. And it's this phrase here, which I'll get Pom to say. If you want to ask the time for when something is happening in the, in the future, just take off this lao. And, for example, we might be going somewhere. And the good thing about Thai is that the, the grammar is very easy. So the word for go is by. So you just have by, go, and then what time? Gi mong. Bai gi mong. Bai gi mong. Bai gi mong. If you want to know what time we're eating, um, to eat, we you know, Thai say eat rice, so that will be gin gin khao gi mong. Gin khao gi mong. Gin khao gi mong. Gin khao gi mong. If you want to know the duration of an activity, you'd use this phrase here. Gi shu mong. Gi shu mong. Gi shu mong. So gi is how many, and shu mong is hours. So, for example, if you're studying, you want to know how long you're, you're studying for, you'd say, Rian gi mong. Rian gi mong. Rian gi mong. This is the, the Thai phrase for noon. Tiang wan. Tiang wan. Tiang wan. However, I, I very, very rarely hear the one. Normally I just hear the first part. Tiang, tiang, tiang. One is the Thai word for day and kun is the Thai word for night. So if we, if we add this kun to tiang, we get midnight. Tiang kun, tiang kun, tiang kun. As I said previously, tyres use a six-hour clock, but it's not quite as straightforward as simply dividing the day into uh, four six-hour periods. And for the first part of the day, after midnight, they use this word, which means beat, hit, or strike. D, D, D. So 1 a.m. would be this word, Followed by the word for one, nung. Ti nung, ti nung, ti nung. I did numbers in the last tutorial, so you should all be familiar with numbers. So 2 a.m. Ti song, ti song, ti song. 3 a.m. Ti sam, ti sam, ti sam. 4 a.m. DC, DC, DC. 5 a.m. D ha, 
D ha, D ha. And 6 a.m. is when it starts to get a little bit confusing. For the next six hour period, we're going to say the time in a slightly different way. And we're going to use this phrase here. Mong chow, mong chow, mong chow. And chow is morning. So 6 a.m. Mong chow, hook mong chow. 6 mong chao 7 a.m. 7 mong chao 7 mong chao 7 mong chao 8 a.m. 8 mong chao 8 mong chao 8 mong chao 9 a.m. 9 mong chao 9 mong chao 9 mong chao 10 a.m. 10 mong 10 mong you see there that the, the chow disappeared. So Thais don't consider 10 o'clock as still being morning. And 11 a.m.? 11 a.m. And then we go to noon. As I said, it's based roughly on a six hour clock but it's not really a six hour clock because Thais only consider the next three hours to be afternoon so this word here means afternoon bai mong, bai mong, bai mong. and that actually means 1 p.m. and 2 p.m. bai song mong, bai song mong, bai song mong. And 3 p.m. By Samong, by Samong, by Samong. The next three hours, 4 p.m., 5 p.m., and 6 p.m., are considered evening by Thais. And this word here, yen, means evening. Mong yen, mong yen, mong yen. So 4 p.m. Si mong yen, si mong yen. 5 p.m. And 6 p.m. Six p.m. to midnight is another six hour period and another word is used for the time, which Pom has written here. Tum 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 so what happens now, 7, 7 p.m. is going to be one of these. And for 7 o'clock only, we can put the one in front or behind this word. So we can say, Nung tum. Nung tum. Nung tum. Nung tum. Or we can say, Tum nung. Tum nung. Tum nung. But for the other times, we can't do that. The number has to come be before that word. So, 8 p.m. Song tum. Song tum. Song tum. 9 p.m. Sam tum. Sam tum. Sam tum. 10 p.m. Si tum. Si tum. Si tum. 11 p.m. Ha tum, ha tum, ha tum. And back to midnight. Tiang kun, tiang kun, tiang kun. When you get used to it, the Thai six hour clock is quite easy, but initially it's a bit confusing. And it's confusing for tyres as well. In the past, when I've met people in the evening, a, a common time to meet is 8 pm. But because of the Thai the six hour clock, 8 p.m. becomes 2 tum, like 2, two o'clock. So on many occasions I've been told I'll, I'll meet you at 2 o'clock, but I know that the Thai person really means 8 o'clock. And I've only ever missed one flight in my life, and that was in Thailand. I was waiting for a taxi to the airport at 7 o'clock in the morning, and the taxi didn't come. And when I called the travel agent, they, they thought I meant seven in the evening 
and it was in the rainy season there was lots and lots of traffic and by the time the taxi did arrive I, I missed my flight so it, it's quite important to to understand how tires tell the time and as I said before they do use the 24 hour clock as well and that is a lot less confusing and for the 24 hour clock they use this word Natnaliga which means clock or watch Nalika 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 And they abbreviate that to just the letter the not no no so if you see this you know that it's 4 p.m. I apologise for not adjusting the hands of the clock for those times we've just done, but I'm very conscious about the length of these videos, and I don't want them running on for too long. However, I will do so for the next part, which is about minutes. So first of all, three words. This first word means minute. Nati, nati, nati. This word means second. We nati. We nati, we nati. And this word means half. Krung, krung, krung. Tires don't use a quarter for quarter to and quarter past as you do in English. They, ju they just use the word for 15. I'll set the clock to 7 o'clock in the evening. Nung tum, nung tum, nung tum. If I advance it by five minutes, it then becomes seven o'clock and five minutes. And we'll keep doing that and Pom will keep giving you the time. หนึ่งทุ่มสิบห้านาทีหนึ่งทุ่มสิบห้านาทีหนึ่งทุ่มสิบห้านาทีหนึ่งทุ่มยี่สิบนาทีหนึ่งทุ่มยี่สิบนา